Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. My name is Robin Hahn. I'm coming at you today from the beautiful Horseshoe Bay, Canada, and we're on a staycation. <laughs> Since we couldn't do Christmas holidays with the fam, and since I definitely do get major cabin fever if I don't travel for a while, we had to find a super safe way to celebrate. We chose a completely private Airbnb a half hour's drive away, but it feels so far from the city, it's like we're somewhere completely new. Now, I know this isn't like my regular content, but if you were looking for a joyful little corner of the internet to chat about opera, disability, queerness, cats, and tea, and occasionally travel, you have found it. And if you weren't looking for it, you have found it anyway. So go press that subscribe button and ring the little bell so you never miss a video. In the meantime, we're gonna have an adventure. And it's gonna be wonderful. And I'm gonna take you with me. Google Maps told us this was the quickest way to Whitecliff Park. We've taken a hike. We're on a mountain. After a long quest and an unexpected hike, we finally made it. And I gotta say, it's pretty great. When we got around the perimeter of the park, I discovered that this was actually the place I did my scuba diving certification many, many years ago. The first thing they teach you in scuba lessons is what to do if you or your dive partner can't breathe underwater. But obviously they stress that this never happens. But of course, that day, my dive partner's mouthpiece fell right off its hose at 20 meters deep, and we had to abandon the dive, repair the fault, and try again. Now don't worry, we had access to air and she was perfectly fine. But did I mention that it was a very cold November that year, it was raining, and we had to spend an extra half an hour in the ocean because of it? It was amazing down there below the waves though. Starfish the size of car tires that just let us pick them up and play with them. And fish who had never learned to be scared of people swam right up to our faces. It's just as magical below the water here as it is above it. The farthest we've gone on this staycation is to Squamish, which is only 20 minutes from our Airbnb and still a commutable distance from Vancouver. My partner is from the Canadian prairies and despite living here for years, had never seen the Stawamas Chief, which is gorgeous and one of the largest granite monoliths in the world. to me is a place not too far from home that still makes you feel like you're somewhere new and where you do things you might not normally in your day-to-day -day life, big or small. We're not normally puzzle people, but we are cat people and book people, and this literary cat puzzle was the perfect rainy evening staycation activity. We've had cozy days in, listening to the rain and sipping tea. We've watched the ferries to Vancouver Island come and go and we've loved it all. I love to travel. Right now, I can't. If it's safe for you and allowed in your area and you love to travel too, then maybe a staycation like mine might be right for you. 
take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Just take care. Now I hope that you enjoyed this little romp, despite it being a little different from what I would normally do. I promise I have a video all about tea coming up really soon. I'm taste testing every single tea flavor we got for Christmas, so that'll be fun. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this short little vid to start off the year, like this video down below to let me know. Remember to go press that subscribe button and hit the little bell. Keep the comment section full of joy and love, and I will see you in my next video.